Guys, quick video explaining how to add an APM in front of an Nginx Plus API gateway and how to authenticate REST API call with a joint token on APM and how to make a beer SSO between APM and an Nginx Plus. So this is a the work, this is a diagram, okay? So here we have an F5 APM doing authentication with several providers like Azure AD or custom provider or Google. And here we have Nginx Plus. So here it's a, it's a DevOps or it's a very agile uh, architecture. So Nginx Plus can be scaled out. And uh, this team here would like to use only one key, okay? Only one JWK file. Uh, in order to deploy Nginx very easily. And on the front side, this is another team, and this team is able to get keys from Azure AD or from Google or from a custom provider. So we're gonna make these now uh, in order to simplify the GWT authentication and authorization in this architecture. So first of all, here it's a 15.0 in access. Let's go to the guided configuration. And you can see the API protection proxy template. So first of all, I have to to create my my provider. Okay, so I already pre pre prepared that. So I have two providers. One is an Azure AD provider, and another one is a custom provider. This one. Okay. So a custom provider is just homemade joy token, and I have a private key. I'm going to show you. So then. Here, of course, I need keys. So from Azure AD, the keys are downloaded automatically every hour. This is a, the power of the APM compared to the Nginx Plus. And here I have a, a key front if I, for my second provider, and I have as well my key for SSO. Okay, so it's important to understand if I get back to my diagram, I will have joint on the front and joint on the back. So for the back, it's only one joint token, and it this one. It's an oct, an octet, okay, on 256 for the hash, and the secret key is I love Nginx. This is the one. I'm going to show you how to use it in Nginx. So, let's deploy it. Name, demo one. So I import a Swagger file, this one. I want to use a pool, I want to use OAuth. I need to select a DNS resolver, of course, because it's a OAuth. So the import, I can see all the URL, I can see the backend server, so far so good. My default server, the response, we don't care. The WAF policy in blocking mode, and the provider. So here we are. So first of all, the first one I want to, to add from the front and is my Azure AD tenant, okay? Like that. I don't have the second one, not yet. I will add it later on, okay? So let's do it just one at the moment. Single sign-on, of course, I need to single sign-on if I get back here. When the joint is validated here from Google, Facebook, Azure AD or custom one, I need to do a one single uh, joint token, okay? From on, with only one signature. So it's very simple for the DevOps team. So I, I go there and generate a token issuer. We don't care. Okay, could do that. Uh, for the subject, you can you can select a session variable or you can put any subject you want. So my subject. And the key is very important. The key is here. This is a key I created with my with my secret key. I love in Genix. Okay. Then I can add a, a, a claim. So the claim is a claim from the front to the back. So from if I get a role from as ready, if I get a role from Google or from a custom provider, I can inject this claim into my SSO joint. Then provide information regarding regarding the, the VS, of course, okay. Use a pool, so I already created the pool, it's this one, and then deploy. So it's deployed, so if I go there, I should see my API protection profile. It's pretty easy to understand. Here, we can find all the information we provided. 
on the pads, wrist pumps, and here we can see the SSO perfect. Uh, and here we see the graphical interface. Okay. On the scope, here we are. This is my provider. So far, only one is as ready. So let's make a try. So let's make a try now. So here, as you can see, I have a postman, and I'm going to make just a call to my to my VIP. And of course, I have four free forbidden. Okay, because I don't have I don't have any uh, bearer or any joy token provided. So what I need to do now is to go to OSB2, and I, I will request a new token. Okay, so it's on my tenant. You can see several information. And I got a token, this one. So let's use it. Put it here so in the header I can see now have a bearer. Okay, authorization bearer, and this is my token. I got an access. Right, okay, so it means from here, from here, now my request is coming from the app, going to the F5, F5 validated the tokens, and then the connection arrive, and the request arrives in Nginx Plus, and then to the application. What I want to do now is to add authentication here, okay? So let's go to, uh, to Nginx. So this is a Nginx controller, and I have a, an API Nginx Plus gateway. I go there, I have several definitions. This one is the API definition with one environment and as you can see it's a slash trading it's where i i was slash trading so i want to add a new policy so let's add a policy for authentication i need to provide the gwk file so let me let me try to explain to you what is a gwk file so it's important to know what it is so this is one GWK file and supported by by five of course. So what we need it's the private key, this one. So if we go to encode by 64, it was I love nginx. If I encode, this is the value. Okay, the same. The format and the key ID is mandatory. So now, if I go there and I select the file, okay, this one, and I select the bearer token, I click publish. Here we are. Okay, so what what we have now? It's the first layer. The first uh, APM is auto is authenticating, authorizing the request with these token from Adderady, and APM is doing an SSO, so is injecting a new Joy token to the to the destination. Nginx Plus and the Nginx Plus is validating this joy token. So now the Nginx is, is set up, working now, and I can add a new provider as a security operation team. So I'm managing the F5, I can add a new one. So what I have to do is to get to the guided configuration, just disable the, the strictness. So this is a strictness, okay? I disable it. And here, now, I just need to add a new provider. So to get a new provider, I go to the provider, joint provider, it's this one. And let's put a new one. Here we are. So now, here, instead of using uh, the Adderady token, I can use another one. So it's a token from another provider. I inject it and I send. Here we are. 
200 okay so i can use either provider provider 2 or provider 1 like this one and apm is authorizing authenticating both provider but on a back-end system on the indian x plus there is only one provider it's apm only one key i love ingenix so this is how to do single sign-on with joy token because an a between an apm and an nginx api gateway